Welcome back to Sahari TV. Now, in 2009, the Ugandan anti-gay bill was introduced. And then after years of debating, Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni finally signed the bill into law. And on Monday, after being informed by Ugandan medical professionals, he, he signed it into law on Monday after being informed by Ugandan medical professionals that there is no gene for homosexuality. Now, on the line with me right now from Uganda is the originator of that bill and member of Ugandan parliament, Mr. David Bahadi. Welcome to Sahara TV, Mr. Bahadi. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Great, great. So I'll get straight to it, and I'm just going to ask you, you know, the bill has passed. It's a law now, and any homosexual act is pretty much banned and criminalized, some with life sentences. And I want to just ask you, life in prison, wouldn't you say that that is extreme, maybe? No, it's not uh, extreme because uh, homosexuality is uh, against our values. Uh, it is a threat to the family. And uh, obviously, uh, the homosexuals and hom uh, homosexual groups have been involved in promoting this behavior, uh, which has been proven by uh, the medical professionals as have nothing to do with uh, uh, genes. Uh, they have been recruiting their children into homosexuality. Okay. And uh, this behavior had got to be regulated. Okay. So I'm going to get to some of those things you just mentioned um, in a few minutes. But I want to ask you, um, which is what a lot of people are asking, you know, why focus so much attention on homosexuality? I mean, in Uganda, we know that, you know, poverty, there's a chronic poverty issue. There's a, a weak health care system. There are tons of things that are happening in Uganda. Corruption, matters of corruption within the government. Um, these things are, like, you know, really important. And we're just wondering, you know, wouldn't that take priority over something like homosexuality? Well, it's uh, the only bill that has been uh, uh, has caught the attention of international community. But there are quite a number of other things that uh, the country we are we are we are we are working on. For example, we are amending the the laws on corruption. Uh, one of the members, John Simba, is uh, pursuing the anti-corruption law to strengthen them. We are making uh, a lot of progress in terms of. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of uh, infrastructure mm -hmm. development, uh, we are making a lot of progress in the fight of HIV AIDS. Uh, but homosexuality at the same time, we have got to also to handle it because if uh, the moral fabric of a society is shaken or is messed up, then the rest is also messed up. Uh, but mm -hmm. yes, we are doing a number of things, but uh, the international community has chosen not to pay attention to them. But I they are see. there. And so, speaking of the international community, a lot of people have are they're not pleased with the passing of the law. And um, just recently, retired Archbishop Desmond Tutu, and he's also a social activist, he responded to the passing of the bill. And he was in New York City recently, and he made a comment, you know, expressing how he was really not pleased with the passing of this bill in particular. And I want to play a clip from that video or that interview that we did with him and possibly have your response to that. Please, if you, if you can just hold the line and listen to this clip from Desmond Tutu. What I think has been happening is that where these guys are faced with intractable problems, they look for something that seems to be uh, fairly straightforward. Uh, and, 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 and they are undermining the humanity of their victims. But as we've seen in South Africa, they are in that process undermining their own humanity. And one just wants to appeal to them, for goodness sake, find something else to fight over. All right, thank you. Mr. Bahadi, were you able to hear that clip from Desmond Tutu? Yes, uh, I must say that uh, we have a lot of respect for uh, Bishop Desmond Tutu for the fight that uh, engaged in to liberate the people of South Africa and the fight against apartheid. But we respectively uh, disagree with him, and I certainly want to remind him that the Bible that he has preached over the years is a Bible that we still believe in, the Bible that we have not changed, and uh, uh, we'll continue to pray for him, uh, knowing that he cannot uh, reverse uh, the holy books. Okay. As we know them, they give us direction that uh, Marriage is meant for a man and a woman, 
uh, that homosexuality is a perversion. These things are written there in the Quran, in the in the Bible, and this man too to know them, and he has chosen to take the easier route, and that easier route will not take him uh, to heaven. Okay, thank you for that. Um, and he also went further. We know that um, the president Museveni, he you know kind of debated on signing this bill into law for for a couple of years now, um, and. Bishop Tutu mentions that um, in an interview that I want to play also, he mentions a conversation that he had with the president before the bill was signed. And I want to play that clip and also just get you to respond to that, please. I was able to speak with the president on, uh, on the phone, and he assured us that he, he was not going to sign the, the draft legislation. Uh, and I am, I think I like him, but I am, I am very sad that he, he, he has gone back on his, uh, on his... What do you say to that, Mr. Bahati? I didn't hear it well. What did, what did he say? Oh, you didn't hear it. Please, guys, if we can um, let him hear that clip. Okay. S should we I was able to speak with the president on, uh, on the phone, and uh, he assured us that he, he was not going to sign the, the draft legislation. Uh, and I am, I think I like him, but I am, I am very sad that he, he, he has gone back on his... Uh, on his Mr. Bahadi, your response? Yes, I was not privy to the conversation between the, His Excellency the President of Uganda and the Archbishop Desmond Tutu, Tutu but I uh, certainly uh, can tell Desmond Tutu and the listeners that the President of Uganda uh, is the President of the people of Uganda and he pays loyalty to the people and the views and the interests of the people of Uganda, not the interests of Archbishop Desmond Tutu. All right. Okay, thank you for that. Um, I know that we're running out of time, so I want to move ahead. In uh, some previous interviews that you've had on several different talk shows, you mentioned that a lot of homosexuals, or there were certain groups of homosexuals in Uganda that were luring kids into becoming homosexual sexuals. And actually, I want to know if you have ever discovered any evidence that could prove this. The evidence of recruitment, the evidence of promotion is abundant in our country and on the continent. Can and you explain how it, like how it happens in Uganda, how that happens in Uganda? They come to schools with money. They recruit people, train them, indoctrinate them into believing that same-sex is okay, that's the lifestyle. And uh, we have discovered this once not only through theory, but through practical, uh, by getting kids who have been lowered into the out to talk to us. We have seen parents bring their children, personal have seen them, and have talked to them. And when you talk to these people, you just shudder, you just cry. And it is this that we said no, uh, as uh, Dr. Ed, MP Edman once said from the UK, but the only thing that is necessary for, for evil triumph is for good people to keep quiet, and we couldn't keep quiet. Okay, thank you for that. Um, so I, I want to know, Mr. Bahadi, have you personally ever had any um, encounters with homosexuals? I mean, would you be able to, you know, tell if you were in front of a homosexual in Uganda? Yes, we have. Uh, we have talked to, to them, we have, uh, and we have a lot of sympathy with them. We keep praying for them and uh, ask them to come back and be rehabilitated, be cancelled. And that's why uh, one of the things in the law is to make sure that uh, the minister makes regulations that can establish the rehabilitation centers that can uh, mm -hmm. uh, help these people come out. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yes, we have interacted with them. It is... Uh, a situation that is uh, not desirable, okay. and yet we have got to handle it. Okay, so one of the, um, I guess, uh, within the law, it says that um, 
you know, in Uganda now, if you are aware of anyone who is a homosexual, you're urged to report them. And, you know, I'm wondering, what are people supposed to do? Are, you, know, are... you know, that, that uh, clause in the article was removed. Can you um, explain it, please? The one that requires re reporting was removed. The one requires the death sentence was removed. What actually now is contained in the law is uh, to stop the promotion of homosexuality, to stop the recruitment of our children, uh, to stop the funding and the homosexuality itself as, 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 as a, a, a crime. Uh, okay. so, and also uh, the issue of celebrating same-sex marriages. Uh, these are just simple clauses that are straightforward, that reflect the values of our, of our people and defend the values or the family values of, of our culture. Okay. And uh, we do this uh, in res uh, with respect to the international community, well knowing that some parts uh, embrace homosexuality, other parts don't embrace it. But as a people, as Ugandan people, mm -hmm. it's a clear statement that we don't uh, support homosexuality. Okay, and my final question, because we are running out of time, is um, what now for the LGBT community in Uganda? I mean, you know, as a member of parliament and as the originator of the bill, do you expect them to change into heterosexual? What is, should be the outcome for them now? Uh, I think uh, we just uh, have to look at it in the, in the perspective of our society. Uh, one that uh, uh, it's evil like any other, like uh, stealing, like uh, uh, lobale, like uh, 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 in your press, you, you in, in America, I, I hear that you criminalize adultery. Uh, uh, they, they are put in the category of evil that we must fight in society. Uh, what now moving forward is going to happen is that the law is in place and the law will take its own course. Uganda is a, a law abiding nation. Uh, we do all the things uh, according to the law. And we hope that the minister will put implementation uh, mechanisms in place on how this is going to be uh, implemented and will bring all the stakeholders on board to make sure that we secure and preserve the values of our family, uh, protect our children, and uh, defend the cause of humanity. All right, Mr. David Bahadi, thank you so much for joining us. And we hope to bring you back on the show in the future. Uh, viewers, that You're has welcome. been Mr. David Bahadi. He's a member of Ugandan Parliament, and he is also the originator of the Ugandan anti-gay bill that was just passed into law, signed into law, on Monday by President Yuri Museveni. So stay tuned. There is much more coming up.